I'm Zeeshan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive, your own training institute. So in this new lesson, we will learn how we can apply some of the spray paint over here. Now I have downloaded a uh, font, which is like a spray paint font, and I will use that font to create the spray paint effect here. So that's one uh, thing that you can do here to create illusion of that there is a spray paint or something like some sort of that thing. So what I will do here is that I'll just go here and spacebar then select this then spacebar and put it here and then i will use my text option here okay and right here is some funky sort of a uh, text like basically this is a school locker so i will type a school locker uh Sort of a text here which will suit like let's say the school locker belongs to a uh like teenager or something so maybe uh right something funny like a killer kid something like that okay so here we have the killer kid but the font i will use here the one that i downloaded it's called spray pen or something like that I'll go there all the way down here So here it is, sister spray, it's called sister spray. This. Let's reduce the size a bit. Don't know why it's not coming up. I think there is an issue with this font so let's let's use some other font i have one more font here for the spray paint let's use that one spray letters so i will use spray letters here and a light here killer kid And this one I will use inside the capacity and just I will add a uh, uniform color here. Okay. And here I got it. So what I'm going to do here, double click it here, single click here, and then I can put it somewhere wherever I want reduce the size of it update it and I will make sure it is not overlapping any one of these parts so it will look bad okay one thing here I will I would like to do is that I will make a blend mode here and put this font here on the foreground and then take this again and blur hq and put this one in the background oops now here this one uh it's 8 bit so i have to go here and convert this to 16 bit okay and this as well 16 bit let's see if anyone else is in bit or uh, 8 bit yeah this is 8 bit because of this blend coming from here where is this blend coming coming from we have to find the root Okay, it's coming from there. So this one I have to convert this into absolutes in bit. Otherwise the color will not look good. Okay, 16, 16, 16, 16 all of the 16. Good. That's the 16 also. Now here I will go add.
and put this one here. Now what this will do is that a little bit blur out like outline here so that you know it will look more realistic. Increase the quality, increase the blurriness here. Something like this. And this blend is add right now, so I can use a different uh, blending node here just to see which one looks better. I'll choose screen or maybe soft light or overlay. Let's see. Overlay is not good. Soft light. Soft light is not also good. I think screen is better. Here we go. So we got this pay pen effect. Now, if you want, you can use the size of it. And then you put it here. That's it. So I will put them up here. The reason is that because I want to put them all in the top spot so I can create a frame. And I will call the spray paint. So we are done with the albedo part right now. So the only last albedo we will put and try how it looks like is the dust, but because I don't want to put the dust right now because uh, if we are left with the metallic uh, like material and the roughness, which we will start with our uh, in our next lesson. So after that, we will see how the dust will look like. So thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and I hope to receive your support uh, continuously and i hope you have learned something from this lesson also i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but have not subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents i will be uploading soon if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any query or question then leave them in the comment section and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them please if anyone is doing that you and you find someone doing that then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all so therefore help me get uh guys to get some new subscriber i will take off now and take care guys uh we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on your track your own training is there's one important announcement i would like to make i have started three great membership plans on my channel i have introduced zdi friends membership plan which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on commission. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird Plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials, which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this and a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. 
join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with Simple Geometry to create a realistic, smashed up retro television.